this is a day in the life of a Russian model in Moscow. This is Julia. She is a full-time freelance model who lives in Moscow. Her day usually starts at around 8.15 a.m., but this changes depending on her shooting schedule every single day. After she wakes up, she brushes her teeth and then eats breakfast. This morning, she had store-bought blini, which are Russian pancakes stuffed with cream. The night before, she wraps her hair in bigodi boomerangi, which make her hair wavy and easy to brush in the morning. While she eats breakfast, she quickly applies her makeup, foundation, concealer, blush, eyeshadow, and mascara. Now, Julia, how often do you work? I work almost every day. She was running a little late this morning, so she had to get out of the door very fast. Where are you going now? We are now in the center Moscow, on the street, to film for 40 minutes. Julia, how do you usually travel to work? No, I usually take taxi only in rare cases. If I have some expensive work, a expensive suit, and I was very tired, I was just tired. I had three suits. I had to go to the hospital for half an hour to get to another place. I was just like, only in this case, I have to take a taxi. After taking the tram to the nearest metro station, she goes on the metro to her first shoot of the day. The metro is a very efficient mode of transport in Moscow, as a new train arrives every minute. The first shoot of the day was for a photographer's portfolio. It was a great opportunity to discover new, aesthetically pleasing locations in Moscow. Most of a model's day is standing up and walking around, so sitting down just for a minute is a much needed rest. For this scene, they bought coffee to use as a prop in the photo. Mm -hmm. Julia's boyfriend joined for her work day today to help me better communicate with her for the video, but usually she goes to shoots on her own. So Julia's on her first photo shoot of the day and we've gone to various locations and we're currently um, near Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Julia, why are you changing clothes outside? Мне конечно не всегда помогают помощники. Я обычно сама переодеваюсь на улице, покупаю съемки для брендов, где мне приходится прямо на улице переодеваться вот так вот, становиться бусиком на асфальт, переодеваться, стоять в белье прямо на улице. Это бывает сложно. Мы сейчас едем на Сухаревскую. After the outdoor shoot, it's time to head to a casting for a potential future modeling job for a jewelry brand. After 40 minutes of waiting for the other models to turn up, Julia is the first to go into the casting, where she has her fingers measured for her ring sizes. Super, все, у нас есть 
Спасибо большое. Ты будешь писать? Да. Спасибо. Спасибо. До свидания. How do you find jobs in casting? Обычно я не хожу на очные кастинги, но сегодня у меня была встреча с агентством, поэтому я попала на кастинг Sunlight. А так я получаю сообщения через директ в Инстаграме, и мне не приходится долго ждать. And that's all for the casting. It only lasted 30 seconds, and now she's heading to the next shoot. У нас сейчас есть 20 минут, чтобы доехать до электрозавода на мою третью съемку фэшн. Нас уже там ждут, ребята уже приехали. Мы едем прям впритык. Мы сейчас приехали на электрозавод. Это самое популярное место для съемок в Москве, потому что здесь больше всего студий. Все знают про это место. Сейчас вы увидите, насколько оно трешовое. Now that she has arrived at the hair and makeup studio, it's time to meet the fashion designer whose company this photo shoot is for, as well as meeting the makeup artist and hairstylist. They use a lot of photo references as inspiration of different aspects of the shoot. Julia is having her hair done at the moment, and while she does that, let's have a look around the studio. This is the beauty studio where Julia is currently having her hair and makeup done. It's one of the many studios in this really old building. During the Soviet Union, this building was used to manufacture electrical appliances, but as it's not safe to live in, as a result of the elements in the building, it has been turned into photo studios, barber shops, canteens, beauty studios, and more. Julia, it's already 2.15 p.m. Do you eat lunch? Обычно, когда на съемках мне не удается поесть, я не расстраиваюсь, потому что я думаю, что смогу немножко похудеть. Это делать какой-то баланс в моем питании. Но очень часто мне дают конфеты или шоколад заказчики или покупают специально фрукты, а так я просто когда-то захожу в кофейни или дожидаюсь момента, когда я вернусь домой и смогу что-нибудь себе приготовить. Before the shoot starts, the team brought some French pastries and kvass, which is a traditional Russian drink made from rye bread. She now has a six-hour shoot, so let's look around the studio while we wait. This shoot is for a Moscow fashion brand called Roma Rolling. Prior to this shoot, the brand mostly designed hoodies, but now they are expanding to high-end fashion, so this is for their spring and summer collection. We can't wear it anymore, maybe it will be held or held, or something like that. No, here we can wear it. We can, so that we don't... No, 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 no. <laughs> the shoot included two models, including Julia, and each of them modelled six outfits over the six-hour shoot, including lots of hair and makeup adjustments for each outfit. What are you doing now? Я стараюсь монтировать на каждой съемке видео с переходами, потому что это очень интересно подписчикам. Julia says that she always gives 100% of her energy into every photo shoot, even when it's a long shoot like the one today, because the quality of every photo must be the same. It's amazing to see the dedication and love she has for her job, which is one of the many reasons why she has become so successful at modeling. Julia's workday has finally finished 
and now she's heading home. What do you do after work? So that is it for this video. I really hoped you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and do let me know in the comments section if you like this type of video as I'm planning on doing loads more of these with different job titles and stuff. So do let me know if you want to see more of them and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next Sunday for another video all about living in Moscow. Bye.